Hello everyone and welcome to my channel IT Info. Today we will discuss about how to set up a free M365 and Azure Active Directory tenant. So let's discuss about this. Topics we will cover today are first is set up M365 tenant. Second is how to assign a license or get license. Overview of M365 admin portal. Let's begin with the first topic, set up a M365 tenant. For that, we will move to a uh, website of an Microsoft to register a trial version of M365. So the trial version will be available for 30 days. And after that, the license will get expired after 30 days and user or admin will not be able to use the service which is got from the license assigned to the user. So after assigning the license, we can create an initial domain and initial domain is provided by Microsoft. You can check that domain uh, going into an admin portal. And in admin portal, you can select on the settings and in settings, you will find a domain option to check all your domains. We will discuss about this in brief on our next video. So, and we will discuss about the initial domain also. So initial domain is provided by Microsoft. You can add a custom domain also. We need to provide a name for a domain and it will be added with initial domain. So for example, itinfo.onmicrosoft.com. So after creating or adding an initial domain or a custom domain, you can set up a mail address to the user by using your initial domain or your custom domain. So example is here. For example, your name is ABC, your username is ABC and the email address will be abc at itinfo.onmicrosoft.com. So the domain with the name on microsoft.com are the initial domain which has been provided by the Microsoft. So now let's move ahead and we will cover the how to register a trial month of the business standard or M365 tenant. So uh, you can search on Bing or Google Microsoft business standard trial version. So you will see all these websites. So in all these websites, you can select the first one, which is Microsoft 365 Business Standard Free One Month Trial. When you are clicking on it, the window will pop up. And after that, you can select either from here, try for free, or you can select here, try for free or try free for one month. All three are same. You can select anything. After that, a new window will open and you will see a page like this microsoft 365 business standard trial one month free with payment details so in this you have to uh, check how many users are there in your tenant you can select thousand plus or twenty thousand plus it is up to you so it will show you okay it is add up to 25 users during trial okay they have changed this so you can add up 25 users during trial only so click on next and you can enter your email id here so i am entering mine and click on next and click on set up account so you need to enter all the details here first name last name job title business phone number company company size does your company have a website yes or no you can select on no if you are using a trial version it will not affect anything company name that you need to pro uh, that you you want to provide and it will appear in an initial domain business phone number you can provide of your own first name you can provide of your own the last name you can provide of your own a job title you can provide anything for example owner uh, administrator anything so i will skip this part uh, for the uh, private info and you can register this and click on next so so uh, when you register everything your name the domain and everything so after that the page will appear for the uh, verification of your mobile number that you have entered after clicking next 
you will see how you will sign in so you will get the username it info and the domain name it info 789 you can select by your choice also it info you want to say like this or you want to like this it is up to you and password you will select for yourself I am entering mine now if you click on next so it is signing you in so it is creating a tenant for your ram 365 portal and after that mm, the payment the payment page will appear and you need to enter your credit card details here so after entering the credit card details you can uh, unselect or cancel the auto pay subscription for it so you need to click on uh, you need to select how many license you require so maximum of 25 license you can get you during a trial version so add a payment method so I will skip this part okay so after completing a payment page you will see this add extra security to your account action required before you start using the product set up a multi-factor authentication using a tools like Microsoft Authenticator so you can click on next so it is saying a uh, action required just click on next So you can register a Microsoft Authenticator like this. Just uh, install the Microsoft Authenticator in your mobile and scan this QR code. And after scanning a QR code, your Microsoft Authenticator will get attached to this portal. So after this, you, the page will appear like this. And if you want to open an admin portal, just click on the admin. So this will be your AM365 panel. In this, from here, you can add a user. You can delete a user. You can modify it. You can create a Teams group, etc. You can see your billing licenses from here. total we have 25 and the assigned license is one the admin account which we have created the tenant ID info and in this panel you can see the settings in settings as I have said earlier you can open a domain and it's you can say there you can see there is a initial domain with IT info 7 dot on Microsoft dot com and here you can see all the admin centers the security compliance identity exchange admin center a team's admin center etc so let's move forward and let's discuss about how to add a license and how to add a user in it so first click on add user and the basic you need to enter here so let me add it infra display name can be appear automatically or you can change it from here username you can choose for your own so let me decide it infra for this and automatically create a password if you want to uh, if you want uh, the user that uh, requires automatically password so you can do that or you can enter a password manually So you can select here require this user to change their password when they first sign in. So yes, uh, we can do that in a business organization that once the user logged in, user can uh, change their password in their first sign in. So let's click on next location you can select. Now let's come to the license part. 
so we have one license Microsoft 365 business standard if you click on this the license will get signed and the application within the license the services will assign within it for example Avatar for teams sorry exchange online plan one so all these application that come with a business uh, standard license will be given to the user so optional settings you can see if if you want to provide any role to the user for example an admin so let me assign a global administrator to this user and you can finish adding if you if you don't want to assign you can just skip this part as select a user no admin center access and you can click on next and finish adding now your user is created with a license so you can send an email to IT Infra by this and you can give this hi your uh, account is created now you can log in into uh, the account and after login you can change your password so messages like this you can send to the user okay let's close this and we will refresh see now we have two users in our panel so now let's see how we can uh, remove the license from the users so you need to come here license and apps and you just need to uncheck this and save changes and the license will get removed from the user account and if you want to add it again just save changes and the license will get be added so there are multiple uh, options here you can see the basic information for the account for example a username and email aliases last sign in sign out group roles the devices how many devices the users get connected mail a mailbox size of 50 GB has been assigned to the user so we will discuss about all this in our next video within detail okay so we have discussed about the how to create a mc65 tenant and after that uh, we have discussed about how to create a user in m365 tenant then how to assign a license and how to remove a license now let's move forward and see the overview of the m365 admin center so there is a home page for it and from home page you can also add the user or remove it so there is a panel active users contacts guest users deleted users for all these we will discuss about all this in our next video in a detail so how to create a uh, teams and teams group roles role assignment like a global administrator exchange administrator teams administrator and in unbilling you will see your licenses bills and payments billing accounts support you can take a support from a microsoft and settings in a settings you will see a domains as I have shown you in domains you will see how many domains you have and how many are healthy and how many are incomplete so organization setting you can have integrated apps Viva partner relationship Microsoft Edge in a health you can check your service health of your admin center like uh, is there any issues or any advisory going on from the Microsoft end you can uh, watch from here or you can view from here so uh, okay so moving forward let's discuss about the topics we will discuss in next video we will discuss about the domains we will cover the topic DNS records and how to add a custom domain in MC6510 so if you like this video please like if you want and uh, if you want to ask any question or having any query please comment on the same and I will reply if you want to share this video please share and if you want to continue learning about this and for m365 and other IT information that you require please subscribe the channel thank you and have a nice day